Hey there, Soul Shines! It's Michelle here, and it's Mystery Yarn Challenge time! Woo! It's March! I did not finish my February yet. I'm still working on it, but I got a box. As you can see on the box, it says MYC324 with Squirrel. Um, a super cute sticker. Super cute sticker. And I probably shouldn't say this in this video, but I think it's funny that the person that I'm sending to is sending to me. Anyway, I, I, um, I have her stuff ready. And, well, I have it gathered. The yarn gathered. I don't have everything gathered. But I have the yarn gathered. I have a box I think it will fit in. That's how far I've gotten. Okay, I'm getting my, on my list of things to accomplish today is getting that box put together all the way, taped, closed. Um, I have a printer now at home so I can actually pay for it with Pirate Chef and print my label and tape it on. And honestly, if I was really up for it, I could run down to the post office tonight and put it in the um, box thing. Because as long as it fits in there, I can just drop it in there. I've only had one box that didn't fit in there that I've ever shipped out since I've been working with the post office since I lived here 14 years. And that was one to my son for Christmas. And it was so close. It was like half an inch, inch too big to fit in the thing. But um, this box should be that I have if everything fits in it and I can figure out how to get that all put together. So I just, it's like, do it. Do it before I do any more in my room. That is the rule for myself. So let's open this box. I have not done any preparation. As you can see, it's in a priority box. So I shall do this. Mm -hmm. They don't, have, to my knowledge, don't have any pull tabs to make it easier. No, why would we do that? I probably have to, you either get to watch my struggle or I edit. Ooh! Good thing my daughter's not in the room. It got blue. And it's a pretty kind of blue. It's a little bit on the light side, so it's not straight the royal. It's really pretty. Blue yarn. Peach. You have no clue how funny this is. Uh, but some peach yarn. Some white yarn. Oh, what does this say? This one does not have a label. Um, it's looking like some kind of a value acrylic, which doesn't matter where. This one has an old label. Um, worsted type, purchase enough of the same dialogue. Kmart! Oh my gosh, I haven't seen Kmart in forever. Uh, it's called Say Sale. Uh, 100% Orlan acrylic fiber. Four ply net weight, four ounces. Some instructions about it. The color is peach. Ah, it's so crazy because, like, it has a dye lot. It has been so long since I've seen. Well, this would, in my mind, kind of count as a value acrylic. It probably was a value acrylic. Oh, yeah, it was $1.57 whenever it was. Is there a date? That'd be funny if there's a date. There's no date. It just says Kmart. Information about the cutting. Anyway, um. Yeah, it feels like 80s yarn, you know? It's not too, too bad compared. But, um, it's been a long time since Value Acrylic. The only acrylics that I know of that have dye lots are like the softer ones now. Um, or like Hobby Lobby soft ones. 
So it's kind of funny to me have a dial up on there. But anyway, I digress. We got Bernat Super Value. So of course this is a um, also worsted crochet or this one actually says four weight. Color fast, colors white, shrink proof. And there we go. It's seven ounces. Ooh, there's a free pattern on the label for February, or no, January. It's the slipper pattern. They're a couple months behind. Um, <laughs> I'm putting stuff down on my laptop and hoping that it doesn't um, turn off the recording. And then I've got this big twist. It's a really pretty kind of orange. Um, the color is coral, coral, coral. Oh, like I know how to read. It's coral. I personally don't think that I would call this coral, but it's almost there. It's got just a t like the tiniest drop of pink in it, and it's a little bit on the lighter side. But I would not personally call this coral. But that's the name of the yarn from Big Twist there, 100% acrylic. So, so far I've got a blue that's trying to run away, coral, and peach, and white, and a mint green. This is a Big Twist value, but it's got a different label on it. And... This color is called light teal. I also would not call this teal. Uh, it's mint green. It doesn't have enough blue in it to me even to begin to say it's got blue in it. So I would not call it teal at all. Teal has blue in it, in my opinion. Anyway, so I've got teal and blue and peach and orange and white to get you, these are the colors I get to play with and figure out what I'm going to make for the mystery yarn challenge. That's exciting. Should we smile? Yeah. Um, I actually don't have, Lori doesn't, let me actually focus for a second. Lori doesn't have to take a screenshot because I go through my video and I was like, mm, I like that one. And I grab a still from it and then send her that. So she'll get that. And that is what I have. Um, sometimes people send little goodies and stuff in boxes and sometimes people don't. There's no requirement to. Um, the only requirement is that you send yarn. And she says like three to four, you can do different weights if you want to, things like that. Um, try to put colors together you would want to put together. And any goodies are just a bonus, so. Um, like, I have no ideas in, the, in my brain right now for what to make with that. I feel like the world, universe is sending me a message right now because I got, somebody gave me a whole bunch of yarn and the colors in it were peach and light blue and light yellow and mint green and I was like, 80s flashback and today I'm like 80s flashback <laughs> so um it's fine uh, I'm gonna try to use all of the colors in one project because that's kind of what we do I have to say even this big twist that seems like it's probably maybe a little bit older it's not a soft like a uh, big twist the new big twists they are so soft but it's not bad it's not bad I like Big Twist. I didn't know that I would. I know that some people are always raving about it, but I don't usually shop at Joann's because my store has like no yarn. I mean, they have yarn, but hardly any yarn. It's really feels so inconvenient to walk to the back corner of the store to find out they don't have yarn. Um, and it's like that. My Michaels is like that. Hardly any yarn. And my 
Hobby Lobby is getting less and less yarn. And I want to kind of go around knocking people on the head and say, Hey, Utah folks, let's buy some yarn. Let's be yarny so that we actually get some yarn supply in our store. Because I know that Hobby Lobby had more yarn. And I don't think it's the company that goes down. Because, you know, you talk to different people, different areas. They have more yarn. People order according to what the statistics and the stuff at the store are. So, um the fact that we're having less and less yarn here is an indication that there are not as many yarnies. Um, a lot of the people I do know in Utah that are yarnies actually um, are knitters that are not allergic to wool, lucky them, and they are buying at the little yarn shops, which are really fun to walk into, but um, I can't take my daughter in them because she'll yeah, and, and I have to be careful as long as there's not wool floaties, I won't sneeze, but I also have to be so careful. Like, I'm very careful. I pick up a label and I like, is this got wool in it? Yes, put it back. Um, but if I touch it a little bit, I'm not too bad. If my daughter touches it at all, she's in pain for hours. So, and pain is the best explanation for what it is. It's a multiple symptom kind of reaction. Anyway. I digress. I digress. My brain is trying to whirl at the same time I'm recording to be like, what can I make this month? What am I going to make this month? Um, yeah. Ooh. They are almost kind of Eastery. Maybe I'll make an Easter something. That would be fun. All right, here we go. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, and I will see you guys next time. And hey, if you haven't already participated join the Mystery Yarn Challenger yourself, please check out Lori. She will be tagged in this video, of course, and you can go check her out. You can join in on the Mystery Yarn Challenge. Um, not in all reality. Lori's so kind that if you said, hey, I want to do the whip one, and even though I'm joining late, she'd probably let you. But um, if you want to join Nick to send yarn back and forth, make sure you're watching so that at the end of this month, when she does the next months, that you can join us and be playing with us. It's so much fun. And if you are playing, but make sure you say something. Um, comment down below, hey, um, have you checked out my videos? I've been doing the Mystery Yarn Challenge too. Um, I know who some of the active participants are and I watch some videos, but like YouTube algorithms don't always bring stuff up and I would love to go see what you're watch doing. I sometimes I try to remember to go watch what Lori's doing and I always watch her, um, what's that called? Slideshow. I always watch the slideshow at the, you know, when she does those, but she doesn't do, do those until she is ready, whether she's busy or people are still sending her stuff. So, um, I would like to see what you're making now. So if you have, um, a channel and you have videos, say, Hey, Michelle, have you seen my videos? And I'll go check them out. If you do not have a channel, let me know what you're making anyway, or let me know that you're in it and Give me some hints. We can play the guessing game. Anyway, remember to let your light shine through your creations. We'll see you next time. Bye.